let us discuss a new problem the problem is finding the prime numbers within a range so user gives us a number and we have to find the prime numbers up till that number which we are already taken from the user so there are nice solution also possible we can uh, get a for loop and we can check each time that if it is divisible by any of the number then it is not a prime number and if it is so then we can print that it is a prime number uh, but particularly uh, one solution is available in uh, that is called cu solution and that cu solution tells us about how we can efficiently find out the prime numbers without using a big of n square time complexity so cu solution <coughs> basically what it does it takes one array and in that array it consider all the uh, numbers are zero and as we know that prime numbers are in infinite uncountable we cannot the, there are basically two types of countability one is infinite countable and another is infinite uncountable the infinite countable means natural numbers and whole numbers basically and uh, any any language for example if we take the toc theory of computation in that we generate a grammar and according to that grammar if we find out some language uh, which is infinite if we map to the natural numbers somehow then we could say that it is a uh, infinite countable language but if it is not mapped to the natural numbers then we can say that it is a infinite uncountable number uh, series so this is the problem <coughs> and as we know prime numbers are in infinite uncountable so to solve this problem we have on a range uh, we cannot go beyond that range and so deal uh, deal with this problem is uh, somehow uh, like we have to first uh, consider zeros in in all, all the array whenever we found that it is a prime so we have to separately write the <coughs> is prime function that if it, it is number is a prime or not if it is a prime then we simply print that print that particular number and if it is not a prime we just make it that array index as one because we we already know that it is a not a prime so to give, give it a range so for example i have <coughs> taken a number that is 12 so what are the prime numbers within that range 2 3 5 7 and then 11 so these are numbers so our output should be 2 3 5 7 11 so this must be given by the code itself so let's uh, discuss first how we find out is prime number means <coughs> by how time we will take that to find out the number is prime or not so void is prime we take number and simply we just take one uh, starting from 2 because 0 and 1 we are not considering because we already know 1 is neither a prime number neither even number neither odd number okay we already know this basic stuff that is number system stuff then I plus plus and simply we just do one thing if <coughs> that n modulo i if it is given sorry not equal to zero then we say that it is not a prime number means if we divide it by two that number if we divide it by three that number if we divide it by so and so and if it is not divisible by any of the number <coughs> then it returns that this is not a prime number correct that's a basic logic so this is is prime function so n modulo i modulo function means it gives a remainder so if remainder not equal to 0 means it is not a divisible by divisible by that ith index then we could say that it is not a sorry it is a prime number if it is not divisible by ith index or if it is divisible by that ith index then we print out that it is not prime number that's it this is very simple code 
we print out that it is prime number if it is not divisible by the number <coughs> so let's see how the code is running but but before this just comment it out because we have to first think about how we can find out the number uh, within a range so so that this require bull prime here we take n or take a void and if we are simply taking one for loop int i is equal to 2 i less than equal to n i plus plus and if is is prime of i then we simply see out i uh, before and we have to first create a vector of is prime which takes n plus 1 number on all the values are true by default after that we have to take one for loop which is going from j is equal to i square j less than equal to n j plus plus and we have to if It's prime G or else we have to first consider uh, let me check again then I can think about the logic first we are creating the vector which is is prime and then after that we check that if it is a prime then we print out that number and if it is <coughs> not a prime means it's prime but first is prime is already uh, all ones means uh, we consider that all are prime but when we found that it is true the two number is printed but after that we have to explicitly print that false why false let me go with the logic first and then i'll code you First, uh, all the its prime array, which is a vector, are all true. True means all are one. That means we are, uh, there is assumption that all are primes. Why? Because first two number is already prime and three is also prime. So when it is going into the if loop, sorry, if condition, and it is one, then it prints two. Again, it's print three. But when it, when, uh, but when it come out of that loop, then it check for i square to n that is and also we are incrementing j is equal to j plus i because at each time whenever we find a 2 then we we find 3 and we find 3 then we add 2 again which is a previous number then we find 5 then we add again 3 to, uh, 2 to that that is we get 7 so likewise we just do that let's check if we are going right or wrong so prime 12 let's see what we are getting we are going right or not
it's take some time so let's see how much time it will take okay so 2 3 5 7 11 as you see all the numbers which are a prime numbers are already included in the list means our code is run successfully so let's take another example which is some a bigger example big example and let's say 50 Let's see we are what we are getting. So 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. All the prime numbers from 1 to 50, under 50, all the prime numbers are printed on the screen. So that is how the sieve solution is work. So I'll again go through the code. First, we initialize the vector because we want all the array uh, index indices numbers which are including that indices are 1 and after that we come from 2 to end up till n which is our number 50 suppose then it's prime it, it is always true because we all already created all the numbers are true because it is type of boolean it only shows true and false so when first uh, 2 is appearing it is print that 2 then again 3 is appearing it print that 3 uh, when when it come out of that if and come out come into the for loop which is j is equal to i into i in this case i is 4 4 into 4 16 so i is come from 16 to 50 and it will increment j is equal to j plus i means 4 plus sorry 16 plus 4 that is 20 so that's how it is Comparing each time, if we reverse all the condition, we we could get composite numbers also. So this same code can run for prime and also composite. If we somehow change the somewhat change the conditions. So thank you. Stay blessed. Stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe if you like my effort. Stay tuned.